Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here. Welcome to another part. Well, not another part, rather the second part of my Let's Play of this wonderful game, Jack and Dax of the Precursor Legacy. And joining me for the first proper time live commentary recordings, it is Johnny Natrium here. He's yeah, commentating on a PS3 game. Proper. I mean, that's a big deal. It is, yeah. Well, we've had one little... Um, um, episode of that i suppose with the uh with the ratchet and clank game but that was all that wasn't actually live no so. that wasn't that uh the illusion is gone we've just deceived the whole audience and uh yeah that that's it but oh oh was that uh, don't worry i, I, I was intending that, to no i was intending to don't worry i just okay <laughs> did you not rec uh, did you not collect those eggs yet uh, before the orbs yet? um Oh wait, uh, wait, this is Sentinel Beach, I better not go there, because that's, that, I'm going to try and keep to like, keep to like, a level per part kind of thing, like try and keep to one level, do you know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, are you still doing, oh, are you still doing, um, uh, uh, Sand of Village? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, we, I've only done one part, so, uh, surprise, oh, surprise. I you did no, the whole no. Of Sand of Village in one uh, I thought, have you, uh, oh, it's, 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 it's a beautiful night, uh, um, It is, um, so, so. What have you done so far? What have I done? Nothing. That I've literally just, a just quick recap. yeah, just quickly done uh, Geyser Rock, or as I like to call it, Geyser Rock, and uh, oh right, there's a training level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the much forgotten training level. Um, now with Sand of a Village, actually, there's not too much to it, so I might end up just doing Sentinel Beach as well because it's kind of like the good. Well, that's the thing about Jack and Daxter is the levels aren't completionist in the way where like Crash Bandicoot where you just go to a level and that's it and you're done well yeah it's a, it's amazingly just fluent flu it just flows over into one another as, as like one big world yeah. while, while it's still kind of you can still tell the difference between a different exactly. level exactly yeah they're still know. themed so to speak they yeah, still like have the their own separate theme to them so. But uh, th there is, I mean, Sandover Village, I guess there's not, uh, I mean, you could say there's not a lot to it in terms of quests, but uh, there's a lot of characters to talk to. And, yeah, um, yeah. And rather, rather it's more of a an exercise in kind of branching you out to the the other areas in the first place. It's like saying, yeah. here, this is, this is the main character's home. You know, here, yeah, here's what you have to do. I want you to go down to Forbidden Jungle. I want you to go down to Sentinel Beach. Blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah. Fire Canyon. Is it? Will this? Wait, hold on a sec. Will this count? Oh, you know, screw it. I'll just, yeah, I'll get that. Oh my what god, do you I'm, mean, an, I'm an this anarchist. Count? I was just seeing if that if that counts to my towards my Fire Canyon uh, orb collection. Do you see what I mean? I probably probably oh, does. does. It? Yeah, who knows? It doesn't matter. I'm not going to keep it as like conform like that. Um, all right. So with this level here, this is this is uh, yeah, Sandover Village, and basically that yeah, there's there's a few few tasks to do in this level. Uh, this one's probably the most uh, probably easiest one. Really, it's just hurting a bunch of what are they called again? Like yak calyx? No, that's a spyro. Fuck. There's uh, they you know, could the calyx from I don't know. Yaks? Yakety yak. I don't know. Huh, <laughs> Jax. But um, yeah, I, 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 this is one of the first God. memories that would pop into my head if I uh, if I thought of my my time as a kid with this game because uh, well you usually tend to remember the start of the game I guess since of course I don't know of course I mean a, yeah this a, is iconic for me um, yeah. I've got I've got a lot of memories that we'll be talking about later on and stuff like that. But you know, it's funny. Just one thing I noticed is how like kind of like awesome these guys look. But look look at the animal abuse. Oh, I yeah. mean they just fucking fucked him up. Yep. Like, <laughs> I, I thought mean, that was and funny. like and the sound and effects are, are so real. It's like pfft, you know I just fucking murdered and I, you. I think that I thought their asses looked red as well or something. Oh, or maybe oh my god, they are, they are. No, what what has this farmer been doing? <laughs> Jesus, he's been practicing with. Oh, uh, he, he, he trusts me. And he then knows. there's and then there's blood on the horns as well. So he's been doing it the other way around as well. Oh, it's you. Just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those hungry cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man try to get them back into the corral? I can help you. He kind of looks Asian to me, actually. Exactly. Yeah, he looks Asian, but he kind of talks Southern-ish or something. Now, that's one of a quick look. I think I can put subtitles on. Um, can I? Oh, wait. Can I put subtitles oh, on? Yeah, that was cool as well, yeah. Like, that was like the first time I had the... Uh, I, I, you know, I had the vibration thing or whatever. 
like as you as you were hitting stuff. The you, jewel shock, you can... as they like to call it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, me too. I mean, I mean, I I had it with um, PS One, but I definitely noticed it, noticed it quite a lot with this. Do you know what I mean? Like it was like mm. quite a like a, an experience that that was kind of like the you know like. Uh, development trying to work into more extrasensory kind of things like oh look you can feel it you know what I mean and I kind of you know it's kind of it's largely forgotten dual shock and analog and that kind of I reckon um, but they use it well in this sparingly but well what do you mean I thought I already got him what uh, there might be one uh, in near the water still like behind that sort oh, of this is yeah, this is to the right from here all right, to the right. Oh, yep, you're right. Yep, yep, yep. Excellent. There's just something so like peaceful about those, this, you know? Yeah, exactly. Those those little flat like levels or something. Yeah, well, what what are they meant to be? That's, that's kind like of Asian as well. Yeah, but that's what I was thinking. I, I I really I really get like a whole Asian thing from this, and um, I don't know if Asian uh, animal abuse is a thing, but um, yeah, that's that's hope not. There we go. Well, the skin. Let's go talk to him. Yeah, look, okay. What, is, can I move the camera? No, I can't move the camera under. I was going to try and, like, wait. Yeah. You want to look under the asses of the... Yeah, it's, that's a bit perverted, to say the least. Uh, all right, here we go. We'll get our reward now. Oh, well How's done, here? Boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this parasol for your trouble. Good stuff. There we go. Alright, that's our... I don't know how many passes we got now. Actually, does it pop up? Yeah, five. Easy. Alright. It's ridiculous. So, this, this game is just the perfect combination of, like, freeform gameplay and and production quality. And, and, and you know what, as well, I kind of get this uh, in a much, much better way, I will say. But, um, you know, obviously, you know, Super Mario 64, how there's, like, all those crazy jumps and tricks you can do with Mario. I feel like it's right. very similar with this one, as well. Like, uh, like with the roll jump. The, uh, with yeah, except that jump. this one feels more oh, it's proper. It's fucking proper. This is probably like, as a f platformer, it might be like the most sort of natural and intuitive controls. Like, it, it's fun even to just walk, run around with yeah. with Jack. Yeah, it's and, the way and if, the way he kind of flails around, like he like he's like all you know. Yeah, he's like super animated and super fluid. Uh, which which and clearly then, which clearly I think comes from from their development on 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 Crash Bandicoot. Do you know what I mean? That kind of cartoony yeah. style of Crash, and then kind of upgrading to it to a yeah, you know, it's a, certainly a, like a, it's a way setting. upgraded to, from from that. Now I'm um, just trying to think, what else do I need to do? I, th I know I know I'm definitely not done yet. Um, but what I know, what I do you still done. need? Well, I'm just trying to think. I think I've got to talk to a few guys to get some missions. Um, well, the guy inside that uh, house where he just passed by, he, he's got a mission for his uh, muse on uh, Misty Island. Oh, that's right. Here we go. And we talked to this guy too. This is, I think this is, oh yeah, this is it. This is him. Hey! Lovely dude! Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. You're what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, full of spunk. I get it. I guess I get it. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. With her around, I see beauty in everything, no? God. Hippy. Make sure I'm aware that Miss Island. Why? And how? Yeah, how? She's 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 taking the boat. Wait a minute. I wonder what else he has sculpted though. Going back to Misty Island. Are we? All right, here we go. Because if he's if he sculpted some of the stuff around the, uh, you know, around yeah. Sandover uh, Village and stuff like that, he, he he's bloody great. Yeah, I think I think he could be he could be the he's the real artist of Sandover Village. Um, the, the true, the true the, poet. Yeah, except some of the stuff is, of course, like remnants of the precursors themselves. Yeah, that's very true. That's uh, what we shall find out later on as well. Kind of storyline. Now, look, this guy. Look at, look at his. Look at him. This is uh, Mr. It's Jack. Jack in thirty years. Jack. Yeah, Jack. Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. You caught me at a 
most inopportune moment. Uh, I wish to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. Well, thank you for your generosity, I guess. Wait, have I got eight? I don't even think I have 90 yet. Wait, I'll go outside, have a look. Wait, I think, how many power cells have I got? 85, okay, I need five more. All right, um, yeah, you know, one thing that they were talking about, you know, with how, you know, Daxter, he's like ugly and, you know, he turns in. I always kind of like, I was always fascinated with Daxter before, before the, um, before the transformation. Do you know what I mean? Like, right. and like when I, when I hadn't played it years ago, in years, I was like, what did Daxter look like? And then when I saw what he looked like, I was like, oh, that's right. You know, I remember have kind of this yeah, fond this memory of, of, yeah, of, of Daxter. Oh, shit, what a complete fail. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right. I just um, saw that like three seconds later, yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like you, you get to see it. Like Once my shame subsided, you get to like revisit it yeah. again through the lag. <laughs> All right, there we go. Do the little jump like that. I, th I think you, I think you actually have to do the roll jump, so it's kind of yeah. getting, getting you used to the platforming. Uh, yeah, exactly. Game. Before I knew how to do that, those jumps were like fucking annoying. Well, you need more power cells for this one. Oh, this of course, one yeah, I won't, I won't needs do that like yet. 120. From before time, I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 previous orbs for each power cell I contain. This, this guy's a freak. Look at him. Oh my god. Yeah. He has a cool mouth. Yeah, I mean, I remember I loved the whole thing. Oh, god, I rolled too late. Um, what's the word? I absolutely <laughs> loved, um, like, in Jack 2, when you got, used to go to that guy. And it was like you know, like yeah, he's 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 like the one constant there. Um, years later, right. you know, you know, you got to think about. It. He was like they obviously must have moved him. Um, yeah. You know, you know what I mean? Like he and yeah, then he's in that like that house in Jack Two. So it's kind of like a good callback. I always. Thought. I don't really remember that very well. Oh, I don't he, remember he's much. He's the guy that from... he's the guy that gives you the dark dark eco powers. Yeah, because I I uh, haven't played through all of Jack Two. I I played through almost all of Jack Three, but. Um, Jack 2 I remember I actually only played that as a kid like I've got the HD collection but I, I jumped straight to Jack 3 yeah uh, <clears throat> um, but 2 um, I, I just remember ha having a skateboard all of a sudden which was weird that's right uh, and weapons which was weird as well Yeah, um, there you and, go. Uh, no, so. and 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 it was on this like beach area as well with like these uh, sharks that came out of the sand or something. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. This is from what one? This is from three, right? No, from two. Oh, two. Right. Um, the beach. Uh, oh, that's right. That's a f that. You know what that is? That is this level. That level. Oh well. Uh, oh shit. Uh, well, what? actually, fuck spoiler. That is that level that you're talking about. The, the sand people. Is return. Is that is, is that two hundred years later? Holy shit! No, you, the, the storyline of this game is just ridiculous. How like in in a good <coughs> way, like the second one story. That's that's one of the reasons why I love it so much is because like there is such an incredible story to this. Uh, I always thought when I was younger, um, yeah. you know, and still to this day I think it was really quite good. But yeah, you. I'll, I will talk more about the story later. I want to kind of get more into um, Goal and Maya. The main villains of this game, because I think they've got oh, yes. quite an interesting kind of. I've just got an interesting kind of thoughts about that. Uh, for now, this is actually this level done. This is really just kind of like yet another kind of tutorial type thing. We'll get into proper gameplay. We well, haven't got. In the next you part. haven't got all the uh, all uh, all the power cells for in Santa Village yet, but no, no, but need, we can't need, yet. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So yeah, for now, because we've got to do the Misty Island stuff, we'll do that later. We'll probably do, yeah, we'll do uh, Sentinel Beach first. We need the orbs for uh, for the. Uh, yeah, I mean, so I'm not thing. gonna like I'm not gonna have another part that's titled um, Sandover Village because I think like basically everything's been explored. It's just a matter of going back. Yeah, and, you can. Uh, well, you can pick them up along the way, pretty much almost. Yeah, that's <laughs> the way I want to. Yeah, that's the way I have it. While 
Sentinel Beach should be, I'm pretty sure, self-contained. So, well, I, I think you need to return unless you want to do the jungle first, because uh, to complete Sentinel Beach, you need to activate the electricity in the jungle. Oh, you're very right. That is a good point. Oh my god! And you know, you know, no, no joke. I forbid. It's forbidden jungle, right? That's what's called. Yeah. Yeah, that level, I, I, was, I struggled with that when I was a kid. That is not an easy level. Like, that is a... I actually completely forgot about it, actually. All right. Good stuff. Oh, I uh, loved it. I loved when, when you... Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, Music. Ran into, ran into the boss there. It's like, oh, it's so fucking expansive. And then there's this beautiful, like... <clears throat> you know, on the surface, you've got this cool jungle with these traps and stuff and, and all this shit to do. And then, and then you go, like, into the bowels of the of the earth and then and then once you beat the fucking boss you know those enemies that come out of the ground they actually get permanently like deactivated that's right yeah 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 well we'll uh <clears throat> oh the music oh my god that is atmospheric okay okay all right i'm gonna have to calm myself so, i'm calming myself we're gonna yeah. end the <laughs> part tits. i'm gonna calm my tits and uh, yeah, and look, look, look forward to seeing all that stuff. I just uh, yeah. tease. Yeah, well, this, this, look at, look at that teaser. That is, just look at a, this. that's an, that's an unfair. You know, I actually will apologize right now. <laughs> Sorry for putting you guys through this. I know that this has given you huge blue balls, and uh, yeah, we'll speak to you in the next part when we go visit this wonderful level. See you then. Yes, yes, sir.